This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Sometimes when you're using an application, you know that something can be done, but you've forgotten how to do it. And sometimes you're just hoping something can be done, and you want to learn how to do it. So regardless of why you need help, Thank goodness help is available and able to get to it easily. All right, so keyboard shortcut, F1. The F key across the top of your keyboard, F1, the function key is help. All you have to do is click it and you'll get help at any time that you need it. But for some people, they don't like remembering keys. So let's go look in Word where else you can find help. In the Word document, on the very far right of the screen, I'm just circling it with my mouse over here, there's a blue circle with a white question mark in it. When you click on that button, you will go get help. Or in the file tab, when you go to the file tab and you get into the backstage, there's also a help section here. Now for some of you, this is the help that you need because it's a little more user friendly for some people looking for specific things that they want help with. But to get to the blue circle, we just click here. So let's go ahead and click the blue circle for now. And when we get into help, it has some very generic help in the screen that you could use that might be exactly what you're looking for. But now, I specifically want to learn about inserting a page break. So right here where it says search help, you simply click and you type what you want to learn how to do. Insert page break. And then you just hit the enter key on the keyboard and it's going to take you through some options. I'm going to take a quick scroll here so you can see the options. There's more than one choice because what's happening is it's actually going to take you out to the internet and give you opportunities there as well. So if you have an internet connection, what you're going to find are many more choices for help than if you don't have an internet connection. But no worries, if you don't have an internet connection, there's still help installed with Office 2010. So you'll certainly get some help. This is the one I think I want. Oh, and by the way, before I click this, to the left, it tells you if it's an article, if it's a video, it lets you know what you're actually clicking on. And I do want to read an article about it. So I'm going to click on the line where it says insert a page break. And that's going to take me out to help. It's going to first of all describe what a page break is. I'm just using the scroll bar to scroll a little bit. And then you'll get into the in this article. And these are actually hyperlinks. So if you're trying to figure out how to delete a page break, you would go straight to the bottom. If you want to insert, you click here, but that's this feature right here, so you don't actually have to do any clicking. Let's go all the way to the bottom, delete a page break. So we, we read, we learned all about deleting a page break, and now look at the link to take us back up to the top. So as you're working with help, I think you're going to find it really easy to maneuver around inside of the window when it takes you to help. Well, what happens when you've gone too far? You say, ah, oh, I wanted one of those other options. Back at the very, very top, just below the title bar where it says Word Help, you have your Go Back button. So all you have to do to go back to the multiple choices for getting help is to click that blue arrow that takes me back. And now I'm back to my original screen for the multiple choices. And I could choose something else if I didn't like the option that I selected. And then when I'm finished with Help, top right-hand corner, you just click the button with the X on it to close out of the Help dialog box. And you're back in your Word document where you can get back to work. So click on whatever option you prefer for getting help, or remember the keyboard shortcut is F1.